Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. I am so excited to be with you all today as I share one of my favorite snacks in Ghana. Oh my goodness, I love Agbeli Kaklo so, so much. Agbeli Kaklo simply means cassava donuts. So let's do this. As you can see, I'm peeling my cassava, taking out the core. Once I'm done, I'm going to grate it very nicely. You can also blend it if you wish, but traditionally it is grated. So I'm just going to go ahead and grate it one by one. And as you know, when you grate, when you finish a little piece of the cassava is always left behind. But in an effort to not waste anything, I came up with a plan. As you can see, we have a small little piece left. And if you continue to grate this, you may grate your fingers. So I put it on the grater and then I put the new cassava on top of it and I grate it down. So you just kind of put it on there, grate, 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 and it will grate that small piece. And then you continue with the larger piece. So at the end of the day, we will only have one piece that we couldn't grate because we don't want to grate our fingers and that is it all right that's simple at this point we're going to wring out the water from the cassava and so using a flour sack cloth i added some of the grated cassava in and i'm just wringing it out which is the traditional way of doing it if you don't have any other tool but if you watched my gari video you will remember that i used a juice press which worked beautifully i mean this works well but this gadget right here works even better i'm going to leave a link in the description box to lead you to my amazon store where you will find this gadget and other products or equipment or tools that i use in my kitchen including some of my pots okay so be sure to check it out continental food madam food madam international food cutting who show you how to make pizza at this point i'll be heating up my oil since i'm done pressing the water out of my cassava and i'm doing this on medium heat next i have some salt chopped up onions and i'm going to grate half of this onion for flavor now when it comes to onions you want to be careful with it because too much will cause your agbelika to be bitter so grate just enough to your taste okay so i grated about half of that and then i'll add in my cassava to that i'll add some salt to taste and i'll mix it very very well be careful not to add too much salt you don't want your agbelika to become too salty then i'll go ahead and add in some of my chopped onions mix everything very well you do want to taste this if your onion flavor is enough then don't add all of your chopped onions okay at this point we're going to go ahead and make our balls and i just scoop some and ball it up in my palm once it fills the inside of my palm 
then I have the right size. So I'll repeat the process until everything is done. Now a little trick, do not squeeze this too hard because that will make your agbelikaklu hard. If you squeeze it but not too hard, it will have cracks on it and then it will fry beautifully and you will have a very crunchy outside with a nice soft inside. You don't want this to be too hard. You want it to be just right. <laughs> All right, y'all, you want to drop this gently into your oil so you don't burn yourself. While frying, I went ahead to boil the rest up, which I'm going to freeze and I can have agulikaklo anytime I'm in the mood. But always be sure to thaw it before frying. Also, I'm frying this on medium heat because I don't want the outside to burn and the inside isn't cooked. So you want to take your time to fry this and that will help you get that very crunchy outside and a very nice and soft inside this is smelling so good and it is looking good so we're going to fry this until it is nice and golden brown <laughs> <laughs> was it crunchy or what yes you need to get in your kitchen and if you have some cassava make some of this because you will not regret trying it thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give your girl a thumbs up thank you share and subscribe if you have not done that yet if you're new subscriber welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys bye y'all